Hey friend, welcome, welcome. I am so excited that today is the final part four of the burnout series that I started three episodes ago. Special shout out to Winnie for sending such a relevant question so that everyone can benefit from the answers to the question she asked. In today's episode, I will talk about the five biblical strategies to help you overcome burnout as a service-based entrepreneur. This is going to be so good. So don't go anywhere, pop in those earbuds, lace those shoes, and let's dive into today's episode. Are you ready to streamline your focus and get clarity to start your online service-based business? Are you tired of struggling with lack of clarity, self-doubt, and the fear of being a public failure? Do you wish you had a clear plan you could follow to make your calling a reality? Hey friend, you don't have to stay stuck any longer. With a renewed mindset and a clear plan, you can start a business that fulfills your calling and makes a profit. I'm your host, Chichi Ukomado, a Christian business coach, Jesus follower, and a seven-figure service-based entrepreneur. In this podcast, I'll teach you how to streamline your focus, get clarity on your business idea, create your business launch plan, set up your business essentials, and launch your sustainable and profitable business from scratch. You will get tons of encouragement, godly wisdom, and accountability to grow in your faith and new business journey. It's time to partner with God and take your first step to start that business. You know the one I'm talking about? Yes, that one you've been putting up for a long time. If you're listening to me right now and you have never left a review for this podcast, I want to ask a favor of you. Please pause me right now and go over to Apple Podcast and leave me a written review for this podcast. If you don't have an iPhone, you can leave a review on whatever podcast app you're using to listen right now. Please pause me right now and go leave me a review. Now, the reason I ask for reviews is because that is the only way I can get feedback from you to know that you are learning, you are being blessed and encouraged by this show. Your feedback means a lot to me when I read it. It helps me know that I'm not just talking to myself on the mic. I have people that are listening, learning, being encouraged, and getting all the things they need to start their business. So please consider leaving me a review. Pause me right now and go leave me a review. Thank you so much. I started 2024 with an ambitious goal to move from publishing one episode a week to publishing two episodes a week. But during my time of prayer and reflection at the beginning of the year, just preparing for the new year, I felt the Holy Spirit's leading to stick with only one episode for now. And I'll be honest with you, I struggled with it because I wanted to do more. I'm like, let me give my audience more content. But fast forward to August, I am so grateful that I stuck with just one episode, just like the Holy Spirit prompted me to, because this year has been a roller coaster year for me. My schedule has been all over the place, and I'm grateful that I listened to the leading of the Holy Spirit to stick with one episode for now and scale later when I get the release to do that. And that leads me to the first biblical strategy to overcome burnout. The first strategy is to count the cost. This strategy is taken from Luke chapter 14, verse 28. It says, for which of you, this is Jesus speaking, it says, for which of you desiring to build a tower does not first sit down and count the cost? whether he has enough to complete it. Now, for you to overcome burnout, you have to sit down, just like Jesus said, and count the cost. How much time do you have to start this service-based business you want to start? How much support do you have to start this service-based business? 
with the story I shared at the beginning, the Holy Spirit already helped me count the cost. <laughs> he already knew what my schedule will be this year. That was why he prompted me to say, stick with only one episode for now. So sit down and count the cost. What will it cost me in time? What will it cost me in money? What will it cost me in relationship with my family and other people? What will it cost me in my physical health? What will it cost me in my mental health for me to start this new online service-based business that God has placed on my heart? When you take the time to sit down and count the cost, you know exactly how much time you have, how much resources you have, how much support you have, and then you can now plan a service-based business and launch a service-based business based on the current season you are in and what you have in terms of time and support. So before you do anything, I want you to sit down, sit down with Jesus, sit down with your notebook, sit down with the Holy Spirit and count the cost. And now remember that Jesus says, count the cost. He didn't say you should count the cost and not do it. So don't use this biblical strategy as an excuse not to launch that business. Because like I always say, you have all you need to launch the business. He's saying count the cost so that you know what you are going into. He's not saying count the cost so that you can chicken out and not start. So make sure you do not chicken out. Make sure you still follow through with launching that business that has been put on your heart. The second biblical strategy is to trust in the Lord and seek His will. And this strategy is taken from Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. It says, But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. So trusting in the Lord is a strategy to overcome burnout. When you're trusting in God, you are relying on His wisdom, you're relying on His guidance, you're relying on His leading and prompting in the way you should start that business. Remember, you're trying to start a Christ-centered business, you're trying to start a kingdom business. So the best way to do it is to trust God. He has the blueprint of what that business should look like. He has the blueprint of what He wants you to start with on how He wants you to scale that business. So when you trust Him, He leads you. You find new strength to keep showing up and keep serving as a service entrepreneur. Another scripture that also supports this strategy is Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do, and He will show you which path to take is very important. I talk about launch path a lot because when you seek God's will, He will lead you to the launch path you should choose to launch your service-based business so that you do not get overwhelmed. So trusting God is a strategy that you should implement. It's a strategy you should take to heart so that you can overcome burnout as you launch your service-based business. The third biblical strategy is to look straight ahead. Yes, focus, 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 focus. This strategy is taken from Proverbs chapter 4, verse 25 to 27. It says, look straight ahead and fix your eyes on what lies before you. Mark out a straight path for your feet. Stay on the safe path. Don't get sidetracked. Keep your feet from following evil. Most times, burnout comes from us comparing our business to other people's business, comparing our progress to other people's progress, comparing our results to other people's results. That is where burnout comes from, because when you compare, then you start taking on things that you do not have the capacity to execute, you do not have the capacity to take on. 
And that is where burnout comes from. So this strategy is saying you should look straight ahead, focus. What has God called you to start? How has he called you to serve those you have been called to serve? What does he want you to do to serve them in this current season in your life? If you notice, I keep saying in this current season in your life, because in Ecclesiastics chapter three, it says there's a time for every activity under heaven. So which business have you been called to start in this season of your life? Which services have you been called to start now? How have you been called to serve your customers? So look straight ahead to what you have been assigned to do. Look straight ahead to the people you have been called to serve. Look straight ahead and focus on the way you have been called to serve them right now. Don't get sidetracked. Don't get distracted by shiny objects or what other people are doing. Trust God and mark a straight path and focus on launching that business and serving in the path God has called you to serve. That is one sure way to overcome burnout so that you are not drowned with comparison thoughts and you now start taking on things that you have no business doing right now. The fourth biblical strategy is to follow the Holy Spirit's guidance. I love talking about working with the Holy Spirit in business. I always say the Holy Spirit is my competitive advantage in business because He is the spirit of truth. This strategy is taken from John 16, verse 13. It says, when the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own, but will tell you what he has heard. He will tell you about the future. So the Holy Spirit is the best guide you can have as you launch your business, as you grow your business, as you scale your business, as you run your business. He's the one that can help you avoid burnout. Remember the story I shared when I started this episode? The Holy Spirit prompted me when I had this ambitious goal to start publishing two episodes a week. The Holy Spirit nudged me. He said, no, focus on one episode for now so that you can be consistent You can add another episode later, but not now. Because I listened to his guidance, it saved me so much time and energy. It's helped me stay consistent. This year has been a roller coaster for me, especially in my e-commerce logistics business. If I didn't listen to the guidance of the Holy Spirit and I went on to do two episodes a week, I would have become inconsistent because with everything I've had to deal with this year with my e-commerce logistics business, I'm barely, <laughs> I'm barely making my schedule of posting one episode every week. So I encourage you to follow the Holy Spirit's guidance. That is one way to overcome overwhelm, to overcome burnout, because he will lead you. He already knows what the future holds. The Holy Spirit already knew what my schedule was going to be like this year. That was why he prompted me to say, stick with one episode a week for now. And I am so happy that I listen because that has helped me to show up consistently every week to deliver value to you on this podcast. So follow the Holy Spirit's guidance. The fifth biblical strategy is to give your weariness to Jesus. I love this one. This one is like when everything fails and you find yourself in the state of being burnt out, give your weariness to Jesus. This strategy is taken from Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 to 30. Then Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear, and the burden I give you is light. So when everything fails, when all your planning and all your processes and systems 
and everything fails and you find yourself in a state of being burned out, Jesus already has made provision for you. He's saying to you, come to me, give me your weariness, give me your burnout and take my rest instead so that you can be refreshed, you can be rejuvenated so that I can give you new strength to keep showing up and serving the people that I have called you to serve in your business. So don't hold on to your weariness. Don't try to fix your burnout yourself. Once you notice that you're burnt out, once you notice that you're fatigued, you're tired, you're beginning to resent the very business that you were so excited to start in the first place, that is a sign that you have hit burnout. And Jesus is saying, Bring your weariness to me, bring your burnout to me because I have new strength, because I have rest for your soul, because my yoke is easy to bear and the burden that he gives you is light. So don't hold on to that burnout. Give it to Jesus and exchange it for new strength. Let's recap. Five biblical strategies to overcome burnout as a service-based entrepreneur. The first one is to count the cost. The second is to trust in the Lord and seek His will. The third is to look straight ahead. The fourth is to follow the Holy Spirit's guidance. And the fifth is to give your weariness to Jesus. I pray that you will implement these five biblical strategies that I've shared with you today so that you can overcome burnout as a service-based entrepreneur. Take time and meditate on these scriptures and put them into practice so that you have a burnout recovery plan. You can add these scriptures to your burnout recovery plan and they become something that you fall back on whenever burnout shows on your door or whenever burnout comes knocking at your door. If you are ready to start a sustainable, profitable, and burnout-proof service-based business, then go to startthatbusinesspodcast.com and book your coaching session. If you have a business-related question, like the one I just answered over the last four episodes, and you have a business-related question you want to ask, please go to startthatbusinesspodcast.com and you will see a button there to submit a question. I will be so excited to answer your business-related question on this podcast. Thank you for listening to today's episode. I hope you learned something new and you were encouraged to take action. If so, will you stop right now and share this episode with someone so they can get the help you just got? I will also love it if you can leave a review for this podcast on Apple Podcasts or the podcast app you are using to listen. This is the number one way I know you are getting value from the content on this podcast. Until next time, always remember you have all you need to start that business. So keep listening for more episodes. I'll meet you here next week.